Police say the attack took place in the restroom of this Trader Joe's. But thanks to a security guard, the woman wasn't injured. I'm Fendi Lamy in East LA, where a murder mystery has neighbors on edge. That story coming up. Jay the Bobcat killed at least three dogs here on Blue Sage Court before state officials captured it last night. I'm Fendi Lamy in Hollywood at the Film Festival, which some people call the Black Sundance. I'll explain after this. I'm Fendi Lamy in Beverly Hills on the red carpet with stars and students. That story coming up. Reporter Fendi Lamy joins us now with the story. Fendi? Jay, we're at the LA Sheriff's Homicide Unit where detectives are calling this case a murder mystery. They're trying to figure out who killed an 85-year-old grandmother and why. Victoria Oletta died a horrible death. She was tied up and suffocated inside her East LA home Monday morning. I feel like I'm scared, right? really scared. This neighbor, who doesn't want her face shown, found the 85-year-old grandmother after noticing that her front door was left wide open. How did you feel um, when you found her there? I, I, I was in shock because I saw her on the bed. And the uh, only thing I, I saw the first time when I saw her is the, the feet, you know, on the bed. And I feel like, oh, oh, something is wrong right here. Oletta was found around 8.20 yesterday morning in her home in the 1400 block of South Vancouver Avenue. Detectives say the house was ransacked, leading them to believe it was a home invasion robbery. Lieutenant Dave Dawson calls it a murder mystery with very few clues. We really don't have a lot of information at this time. Uh, we would really like the public's uh, assistance in, in uh, uh, gathering whatever information we could about the victim or what may have happened to her. It's very shocking because this block is relatively quiet. It's calm. It's peaceful. There's children. There's el el other elderly uh, neighbors here. So this is a complete shock to us. Now, if you can help in this case, call 1-800-CRIME STOPPERS. In Commerce, I'm Fendi Lamy. Jay, back to you. Okay, Fendi, thanks for that report. Hey, LA, welcome to Tinsel Talk. I'm Fendi Lamy here in Beverly Hills, where the stars come out for a great cause. From Kathy Griffin to Daryl Hannah, the stars came out with open hearts. They hit the red carpet to help raise money for the Fulfillment Fund, which helps low-income children get through high school and college. I talked to actress Julianne Huff about why the fund is important to her. The kids and the students of today are our future, and so to be able to give them an opportunity to go to school and to learn and to grow and to become ambitious and driven and have work ethic, I mean, not only do they acquire those skills, but also, you know, they get to be book smart. Oh, it's what you do. Held at the Beverly Hilton in Beverly Hills, the annual gala drew close to 1,000 Hollywood movers and shakers. Award winners Tom Booker of Wells Fargo Bank and Rob Moore of Paramount Pictures were honored for their financial and educational support for the fund. There are doors that open from going to college that do not come in any other way. And so having this opportunity to meet with kids and hopefully inspire kids that if they focus and work hard that they can go to college and have a lot of opportunity to come from that. Co-founder Gary Gitnick says tonight's fundraiser is crucial to the organization and the children they help. Tonight is special. Every year this event brings in about 40 percent of our budget, uh, which in, my, in fact is millions of dollars. But millions of dollars, almost all of which goes to programs, goes to helping save the lives of young people who, who really need opportunity and have very little hope. Organizers hope to raise more than $2 million before the night is over. For Tinsel Talk, I'm Fendi Lamy. See you next time. I always thought my senior year would be spent partying. It's called Note to Self, a movie that will make you laugh, cry, and jump for joy. That's why it opened the 12th annual Hollywood Black Film Festival, also known as the Black Sundance. I talked to actor Christian Keyes, the star of the movie, about the film and the festival. I think it's very important. I mean, there's a lot of really, really talented actors and writers and directors and producers out here. And, you know, for this, for this festival to, to showcase all this talent, I think it's, it's a great opportunity. It's a great wake-up call for people to say, you know, hey, they write, they produce, they direct, they can act. The festival draws dozens of African-American filmmakers from around the world to Hollywood. Festival goers will screen more than 120 films, ranging from drama, romance, horror, and science fiction. 
festival creator Tanya Kersey says the event has become an entertainment and economic powerhouse for Tinseltown. I think in terms of economic impact, it's bringing these people to Los Angeles and bringing them to, you know, the W Hotel and bringing them into the community so they could spend money here. And, and I think that's really important. And also recycling black dollars amongst other black businesses is really key for us. For other celebrities like Latoya Luckett, the festival is a source of pride. I feel honored to even be a part of one of the first movies opening up for it. So um, I think it's one awesome to support our black films because they, that's very hard. A lot of times, you know, we don't get the recognition that we deserve. Um, but hey, I'm not going to complain about it. This is a start and I'm excited about it. Tonight is super special to have a project opening and closing Film Fest. Is an amazing honor, especially among so many amazing films. I have girlfriends coming here tonight that have projects that are in the film fest. So just to be a part of it is, you know, beyond overwhelming. Some 5,000 people are expected to attend the festival, which ends on Sunday. In Hollywood, I'm Finney Lamy for CNN I Report.